Hello! Today we're going to be talking about linear and nonlinear story structures. These might be terms that you're familiar with, whether from writing or from math. If you've ever had to plot a linear or nonlinear line on a plane, then you've probably heard these terms before. Luckily for me, that's not what we're talking about today, but it can provide a good visual for story structure. Structure is the form a writer chooses for their story to take. There are lots of different structures out there, and maybe that's something we'll talk about another time. For today, we're focusing on the timeline you choose for your story. As the book progresses, will events happen in order or out of order? Another term you might have heard for this is chronology. If the events are written down in chronological order, it means that the reader will experience the events in the same order that they've happened in the story. This is the same as linear structure. Just like on a graph, a linear structure is one that starts in the beginning, moves to the middle, and continues to the end in a straight line. So what is nonlinear structure? Well, any change that a writer makes to the straight line of a linear structure takes that story out of linear structure and into nonlinear. I say change because there are any number of ways that a writer might do this. You might choose to start at the end and work your way backwards to a revelation in the beginning. You might start in the middle, go back to the beginning, and then come to the end. Or the very beginning and very end might stay in place while you jumble around everything in the middle. Any of these structures that unfold in an alternative way to beginning, middle, and end in that order are nonlinear structure. Let's look at an example of this. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern is a great book that everybody should read. It very much delves into nonlinear structure as well as multiple points of view and an omniscient narrator. As difficult as I can imagine it would be to write a book like this, it's a pleasure to read. The reader often knows things about characters that they don't know themselves, and the effect is a tapestry of threads that weave together to form the whole. In an interview that I've linked in the description below, Erin was quoted as saying, I wanted the book itself to seem like the circus individual glimpses of tents and pieces of story, and time is an underlying theme throughout, so it made sense to me to play with the timeline and history. One drawback for this approach is that sometimes writers can have a hard time keeping track of their characters and where they are in the story, which timeline they're in. Erin said that she had to write out timelines to keep track of dates and ages quite a bit, but that forced her to keep everything organized. If you haven't read The Night Circus, then I highly recommend it. Another example of nonlinear structure would be the 2006 film The Prestige with Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale. This movie is based on a book which I haven't read, but it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I really believe it's a movie that everyone should watch at least twice. The first time for the pleasure of watching the mystery unfold, and the second time to see how the answer to the mystery was right in front of you the whole time. This story doesn't divert from linear structure as much as The Night Circus does, but it does just enough to keep you guessing how everything is going to come together in the end. It's interesting that The Night Circus, a book about a circus full of actual magicians, and The Prestige, a movie about sleight of hand, real life magicians, are the two examples that came to my mind when I thought about nonlinear structure. Maybe there's something magical about telling your story out of order. I want to make sure I say that neither linear nor nonlinear structure is better than the other. It just depends on which one works for your story and makes it the best story that it can be. Can you think of any other good examples of nonlinear structure? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and happy writing!